Hello everyone, we're here at KubeCon Barcelona with Brian Lyles. Brian is Senior Staff Engineer at VMware and uh, also the co-chair of KubeCon. Brian, can you uh, talk to us a little bit about what that role is and what, uh, what it involves? So the co-chairs, we plan this whole entire conference sans the, the vendor stuff. So all of the, all the sessions, all the keynotes, um, we coordinate the people who do the reviews, we make the final reviews, we create the schedules, we get everybody in line. Um, as you know, we sit down with our keynote speakers and we help them make better talks. Everything you see at the conference that makes you happy, uh, we had a hand in it, most likely. That's awesome. So how did you get involved with this and why did you think that this was something that you really wanted to do? Uh, CNCF contacted me uh, last year. I had already done work with Linux Foundation, helping planning the OS Summit for a while. And I think that um, they saw that I was good on stage and I was able to do planning for conferences. It was actually a good fit for um, a position that opened up late last year. Um, in terms of uh, how you've seen KubeCon evolve over time and what's different at this KubeCon, what do you, uh, what do you see? So one thing we, we highlighted this morning, there's 7,700 people here. This is literally the biggest open source conference in Europe. And when we do our next one in the um, United States, it'll be the biggest open source conference in the world. That comes very far from whenever we met in San Francisco and then when we did Berlin. How do you make sure that this is happening in a sustainable way? It's all about the open source, not about your company. You know, you work at Google, I work at VMware. But you notice that we're not selling anything. We're basically talking about the benefits of the open source community. Really what this conference is about is showing what everyone has to offer, offering open source content to our people, and making sure that it's just not a sell fest because this is not a vendor event. So it sounds like the future is moving beyond Kubernetes and figuring out what we can do with the, the building blocks that Kubernetes has offered. Yeah, I think that's actually it. Um, Kubernetes was never supposed to be end all be all. It's basically, you know, it's compute, network, and storage. Everything else needs to be provided outside. And um, I'll speak for um, VMware in a little bit because, you know, we've been doing this literally for 20 years now of, you know, this uh, basically the software defined data center. What we're seeing is now that um, growing in this cloud native ways, it just opens up so much space. And then, you know, looking at what Google did, you know, Google starts in the ad space and then, you know, got really good at compute. But now you're seeing that we all need to move in a different direction because unfortunately, you know, none of us have cracked this nut yet. And that's great. That's amazing. That means we're making progress and we haven't stagnated yet. So one of the really cool things I've seen at the conference was the mental health session. I think uh, it was born out of the realization that uh, folks are starting to burn out in the community. Can you uh, talk a little bit about that? When we did Seattle back in December, we, ha we always have a retrospective session. It's like really the last session, the last day, anyone who wants to come. There's a lot of sentiment, sentiment in that room where, you know, this is hard and, you know, you want to go to all the talks and you want to meet all the people and, and, you know, we're humans and we can't handle that. So we always were paying attention to it. But uh, Cheryl Hung, who works at the CNCF, uh, she actually went the extra step and they coordinated with people that they could actually have in booth downstairs in the, in the sponsor showcase that you could talk to if you get burnt out. But I also want to encourage anyone, if you think about this, um, a conference is just that. It's a conference um, and there's going to be there's going to be hallway track, there's keynotes, there's tutorials, and then there's, you know, there's general sessions. The best thing about a conference like this is generally almost everything is recorded. So uh, last question, what are you looking forward to at KubeCon? Um, so this year what I'm looking forward to is there's a lot of software being announced and people talking about these projects that go above and beyond. Um, so what I'm looking for is something that I didn't expect. And, you know, it's kind of weird to say, but, you know, we go to these talks and you're like, oh, someone's going to talk about service mesh. All right, I know what you're going to talk about. I want someone to go further than that and maybe take service mesh or um, anything else even further than it is, or even storage further than it is now. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the things that will probably hit, you know, hit mainline in the next year. Mm -hmm. But I want to hear about it now so I can start following along. Awesome. Thank you very much, Brian Lyles. All right, thank you, Saad. So